Okay, so um, we left off here on number three. Um, I believe we talked about this. We have an isosceles triangle. So if we draw an altitude, that altitude would cut the base in half. So if we're looking at um, one side of this triangle, like that red side, this side would be two because it'll be half of four. And then I kind of covered it up, but this is five. And we're trying to find X. Um, so if you remember, we talked about um, so ka toa. So let's see what sides we have of this triangle. And we'll try to pick the correct um, trigonometry ratio. So from angle X there, okay, this is the hypotenuse. And this is the adjacent side. So we have the hypotenuse and the adjacent side, which would be um, A and H. So adjacent and hypotenuse, they would come from here. This would be cosine. So since we have the adjacent and the hypotenuse side, we're going to use the cosine instead of sine or tangent. So we would take the cosine of x. is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. So cosine of X equals two over five. And then since um, X is kind of attached to the cosine, we're gonna take the inverse cosine of each side because that will essentially cancel out the cosine and we'll be left with just X. So we'll have X equals the inverse cosine of two over five. Okay, so if we type that in and round to the nearest degree, I believe we'll get X equals 66 degrees. And whatever calculator you use, whether it's on your iPad or um, you have your own standard calculator, make sure you're able to get that and type that in correctly. Um, we should get 66 degrees. Um, I believe yesterday I was using the uh, just the Google Calendar. So I went into Chrome, uh, Google Calculator. I searched calculator and this popped up. So I would do inverse cosine. Uh, two divided by five. I gotta make sure I'm in degrees. Um, that's another thing to point out. Uh, remember if it's in radians, it'll give you the wrong answer. So look in the top left, you see how it toggles back and forth from radians to degrees. I need to make sure it's in degrees. And now I'll type it in again. Inverse cosine two divided by five, there. So that worked out. So 66 degrees would be the angle. Did that go away again? It did. All right, I'm not sure what happened there, but um, we should have 66 degrees for number three. I don't know why that disappeared again. Okay, if we take a look at number four, Again, we're trying to find this angle where the X is. So what we have is we have the hypotenuse is 30 and we have the opposite side. So we think so ka toa, we have an H for hypotenuse and O for opposite. That's gonna be 
this one. That's going to be sine. S for sine, O for opposite, H for hypotenuse. So we will use the sine of X is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Since we're finding a missing angle and you see how like that X is kind of attached to the sine, we have to do the inverse sine to cancel that out. So X equals the inverse sine of 18 over 30. So you go ahead and type in your calculator, inverse sine, it probably second sine, depending on your calculator. We'll get X is about 37 degrees. Okay, so depending on the information given, we might use cosine, we might use sine, we might use tangent. We gotta decide on, with the information we're given, pick the correct ratio. Okay, and then this last part, um, when the directions say to solve the right triangle, this means that you're trying to find all the missing sides and angles. And you can use whatever methods work. Um, if it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle or an isosceles triangle or Pythagorean theorem, any method we covered is, is fine to use. Um, so uh, I'm gonna label the angles just because it'll help talk about the triangle. Let's call this A, we'll call this B and we'll call this C. Okay, so we have one missing angle. So we do need to find the measure of angle A. So we'll start with that. So if you had to find the measure of angle A, we have two of the angles. We have 42 degrees and we have 90 degrees. So angle A, to get that, you would do 180 minus 90 minus 42 because all together, the angles must add up to 180. So if you took 180 minus the two angles you're given, you would get the missing angle. So the measure of angle A would be 48 degrees. So we found the only missing angle. Now we gotta find the two missing sides. I'm gonna call this X. And I'm going to call the other missing side Y. Okay, so if we are using the 42 degree angle and we want to label the sides. Our hypotenuse is where we labeled Y. Um, from 42 degrees, the opposite side is X and the adjacent side or the adjacent leg is 20. So we have our opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse. So if we're trying to find X, trying to find X, we're gonna use the opposite and we're gonna use the adjacent side because we know the adjacent side is 20. So we have the opposite and the adjacent, that would be the TOA part of SOCA TOA. So we're going to use tangent for that. So we would do the tangent of 42 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent side. So X over 20. So we try to solve for X, it's X divided by 20. The inverse of divide by 20 is times 20. So we end up with X equals 20 times the tangent of 42 degrees. So let me take our calculator, we type in 20 times tangent 42. 
x would equal 18. So x is 18. If we're trying to solve for y, if we use that 42 degree angle again, um, we would have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse side. So adjacent is A, hypotenuse is H. That would be the K part, C-A-H. So we would use the cosine of 42 degrees is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Because we got to find y, because that's our last missing part of the triangle. Okay, so we could set up a proportion. It's probably the fastest way if we put cosine of 42 over 1 and we cross multiply. We would get y times cosine 42 is equal to 20. And then to cancel out that times cosine 42, we would divide by cosine of 42. y equals 20 divided by cosine of 42 and we'll get about 26.9 okay um the last thing i want to talk about is if we have this right triangle and we have this side that was 20, and you found this side was 18. You could actually do Pythagorean theorem also to find um, the side that we called y. Pythagorean theorem would give you the same answer as using the cosine. So there's, there's many ways you could solve a triangle. Um, we've covered Pythagorean theorem, sine, cosine, tangent, um, things like that. So, um, you could do Pythagorean theorem as well. I just want to let you know that. 